Hello guys, welcome back, it's Gretty. I'm back with another travel vlog. This time it's a little bit different because I'm on a solo trip. It's my very first solo holiday, so I'm super excited. I've just landed, but um, prepare to be sick of me. I know I look crazy right now, but prepare to be sick of me. I've just arrived at Akasha Hotel, Akasha Beach and Spa Hotel. And this place is absolutely stunning. Oh, let me show you. So when you first walk in, this is the view that you see. And then this is the main room. It's so nice and spacious. This is the bed. It's got a really nice big TV, huge mirror, a nice little coffee station with water, plenty of wardrobe space and a safe right here. There's a balcony. Look at the view from outside. <gasps> little seating area and then this is the view onto the little onto the resort some of the um balconies actually have pools on there as well which is gorgeous this is the pool, this is the pool. Oh. okay bathroom is so big so so big um rainfall shower also handheld shower oh, towels Nice little toiletries. It's gorgeous. Oh, I cannot complain. Like everything is a tick, is a yes for me. Everything is a yes for me. It's given everything I needed to. And I found this hotel actually on TikTok. And the guy was um, telling me that it's like viral on TikTok. And I guess it makes sense because it's viral for a reason. It's so, so stunning. The girlies did not lie about this hotel. But I'm really, really happy. I'm really, really excited about this room and this hotel oh my gosh i need to show you the lobby as well <gasps> anyway i'll tell you guys properly tomorrow my journey has been crazy let's just say i was supposed to fly from my city birmingham but i ended up flying from a different city because i had to book a new flight this very this morning <sighs> jet two messed up my flight but anyway we're here praise god and we're alive and we're well and we're blessed so yeah let the solo trip commence i'm kind of nervous i can't lie like i'm kind of nervous I've never done a solo trip before. I have always thought about it. I've always like contemplated it. I was gonna do it for like my 25th birthday, but I chickened out last minute. <laughs> but we're here now. So I'm really, really happy, really excited. And oh, good night. I'll speak to you guys in the morning. Team. This is the breakfast look. I literally had to throw this on quickly, but I'm gonna run down to breakfast so we don't miss it. And then I'll catch up with you guys shortly. Oh, let's go.
what a nice morning. Um, after I came back from breakfast, I had a shower, freshened up, and I did my morning devotional. I'm trying to have a, I'm trying to build a better morning routine. I had my moment of gratitude, um, some time with God, and I feel so good. I feel really peaceful. So my initial plan was like to get lots of content done today. You know, get on my Zoom. But do you know what? I'm like, I came on a solo holiday to relax. Although obviously I need to work and do content, I kind of think the sun not being out today was a blessing in disguise because otherwise I'd be out in those streets. <laughs> I'll be out in the resort taking pictures because I normally like to get all my content out of the way, but it's actually been a nice time to like relax, take it easy, take a moment, and just like take it all in. I haven't had lunch, so I'm gonna get like a late late lunch slash early dinner and I wanted to get ready and look cute because um, all day today I've just been having I've only been wearing sunscreen which has been amazing because already my skin looks like alive you know England could never but it's fine that's why we have holidays but um I wanted to do my makeup with you guys um, so yes you guys have seen me do my makeup all the time so I won't be talking in this I'll be zooming through it so let's get ready so i was telling you guys how i feel a little bit anxious i'm not gonna lie because obviously i've never done a solo trip and new things do usually kind of scare me a little bit not scare me but i just get a bit nervous it's definitely the introvert in me i want to push myself so i want to look cute i want to get ready properly i want to listen to some music um and i just want to feel confident so my mission is to walk up to somebody today tonight and just introduce myself say hi if i see a group of girls i'll just introduce myself people are always usually so nice anyway on holiday so i really should not be overthinking it but i'm just i just want to be as transparent as possible because obviously people go on solo trips and just i guess don't talk about this part <laughs> i am still i am obviously still excited and it's still literally the first day like I'm, i know it'll get better and i just need to push myself that's all so anyway like i told you guys last night low-key my anxiety was kicking in and i was trying to sleep last night um when i first got here and i couldn't sleep like i was actually in bed like dead awake for like an hour straight so i was like let me just put a movie on and pass some time i literally did not feel tired at all so the movie that i watched was on sky cinema you guys know that i'm a sky cinema ambassador and that means i get to share with you a movie recommendation every single month and this month's movie the one that i watched last night 10 out of 10. it's called to catch a killer i was supposed to be falling asleep but i was like hooked so it was kind of counterintuitive but it was all worth it so thank you to sky for sponsoring this portion of the video when i get ready i'm going to be telling you guys all about the movie that i watched as you know i'm a thriller girly through and through this might have just been my favorite sky movie that i've recommended yet it's given crime it's given mystery it's given strong female lead and you guys know i i just love my female leads so let me tell you more about it while i get ready oh so let's get into the tea of this movie the female lead eleanor which is played by shailene woodley who you may recognize from the divergent franchise and the fault in our stars which is one of the most heartwarming movies and she absolutely killed her performance in this movie as well i was literally gripped the whole time um so a little rundown of the plot eleanor our good sis shailene is a rookie detective and has to work with the FBI and police to catch a killer of a mass shooting. But of course, it's not that simple. There's twists and turns at every corner. Wherever she thinks that she's closed, the, literally the plot thickens. There's plot twists after plot twists and my heart was literally bursting out of its chest at one point. It was so, so good. You can watch the trailer in the description box and you'll see exactly what I mean. Like, you have to watch the trailer. And if you are a thriller girly like me, Sky also has a Batman pop up this month, which Batman is literally one of my favorite movies of all time. And the other hero movie of the month is Deadshot, which is a suspense thriller written by the same screenwriter that wrote Top Boy. You can also find the trailer in the description box. This is the finished face. This highlight is crazy, it's by Refai, 
and I'm still testing it out but so far absolutely loving it so I'm ready um, don't forget to check the description box if you're interested in watching To Catch a Killer at the very least like watch the trailer because as soon as I watched the trailer I said yep yeah, this is my kind of vibe so definitely check out the description box it will have the trailer and thank you so much to Sky for sponsoring this portion of the video so now it's time to get dressed I have planned my looks just so it's less stressful on the day but I don't know what I'm wearing for each day if that makes sense but I'll get back to you guys when I have my outfit on my gorgeous girlies I'm ready for dinner now so this is the outfit of the night this skirt is from PLT, Ego, Loewe Dupes, Zara I'm not sure where these are from I'm just wearing my flip flops, my brown ones, because I don't know if it's like a dress up vibe or just like a casual vibe, so we'll see. And these glasses are at the moment. I feel like it just ties the look together really nicely. Okay, let's do our first night of our solo trip. <laughs> kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm at the restaurant now and literally here on my lonesome I have a menu here so the dinner's not like anything crazy to be honest it's like a buffet style um, let me show you it's giving buffet this is what I got I got gyros and fries basically so yeah Every color. So maybe get this right there. Oh, thank you so much. You remember this? My room number up. This is actually quite nice. It's actually really nice. It's like grilled. So you can't go wrong. I just need a drink because it's kind of dry. Wait, I'm the phone to my sister. the dinner dinner was pretty decent it wasn't anything amazing it was like a buffet style so i'm definitely going out for dinner tomorrow 100 and it's definitely not and i repeat not a dress up vibe it's not a dress up vibe in this resort anyway but tomorrow when i go out for actual dinner i'm gonna book it in the morning i'm gonna actually dress up okay and that's a promise like initially I felt really awkward just being by myself and also obviously I have a camera I'm bringing you guys along so it was like extra attention and I'm not even bugging out like I'm not thinking that everyone's looking at me like they genuinely were sometimes I literally turn around and someone's staring at me in my face and I'm like what did I do to you sir but I told you my mission was to speak to at least one person today I came to my room and I was very disappointed in myself so I'm going back there's a pool bar so I'm gonna go there and just, I'm gonna take my AirPods just in case because the music sounds very ns ns. But I'm, I'm speaking to at least one person before the clock strikes midnight, okay? It's only 9.18. I have to speak to somebody, okay? I was gonna speak to these two girls. They look like they were from London, but um, I hadn't finished my dinner and they already left, so I'm probably see them tomorrow. But yeah, I'm going to speak to somebody, okay? Okay, <laughs> wish me luck. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be. I'll feel very accomplished. I did get a Fanta as well, Fanta Orange. I don't know why I thought it'd be like the African Fanta. Mm -mm. It's the basic Fanta that we all have in England. <laughs> it's not easy, but if it was easy, everybody would do it. I'm wearing a shoulder bag as well because that bag was too small and fiddly to like bring in, bring in and out my camera. But um. Yeah, let's go. Let's be going. <laughs> no, if I don't speak to at least one person today, I'm going to owe myself five pounds. 
<laughs> and granny's getting on to me because i was like i told her i was like oh, i'm gonna speak to these two girls and she was like hurry up do it now but i was still eating and then by the time i was done they were gone so she's probably gonna beat my ass as well if i don't speak to somebody but yeah i'm going to do it okay mark my words <laughs> i will i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i don't care live your movie queen live 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 your movie queen live your movie these people you're not going to see them again um what's the like what's really the worst that can happen i'm literally talking to myself right now the worst that can happen is they say is they just like they wouldn't even say anything they'll just be awkward and i'll just be like okay have a good trip bye and the best that can happen is like we make friends for life who knows <laughs> okay don't know about friends for life but like yeah i'm sure i'm trying to think of the best case scenario so let's see what happens okay no guys i'm not joking so this trip's not easy unless your mo is literally to just like chill like by the pool that's that's a bit boring i feel like life is for the living babe okay okay let's go okay <laughs> so guys i told you guys well i'm back in the room now first of all and i told you that i was gonna say hi to somebody and i did so basically i went to i went to the um pool lobby bar i was just chilling there and i was like looking for my people and i finally um came across these group of girls which were so amazing the hair based on a girls trip and we ended up having so much fun we played games and um it's one of their birthdays tomorrow actually so that should be fun um i'll probably hang out with them tomorrow but they were really really nice and they were like so confused i was on a girl's trip and i was like i know i'm confused too but um they were so lovely and i introduced them to this game called pass the bomb which is so good and we kept just playing that over and over again so that was super fun i would say it's a successful first day of my solo trip I had so much fun in the end um all the anxiety was for no reason because everyone's just chilling everyone's enjoying themselves like no one cares so yeah um it was a great evening i had a, such a good time with them i had a good time in general but i just wish i had spoken to people earlier but yeah genuinely it was great it was a great evening I had a great time so now i'm gonna wash off my makeup do my skincare go to bed it's only like midnight right now so i still have I have like eight hours of sleep like what the crazy part is that it's only 10 o'clock at home so technically if i keep up this routine like i'm gonna have a solid routine when i get home like i'm gonna be waking up early because basically if i wake up at nine then technically it's like 7 a.m back home so that's like what anyway good night i'm so delirious like because i'm so tired like i'm genuinely so tired i only had like i only had like four hours five hours of sleep at most but yeah anyway good night <laughs> I just wanted to check in and tell you guys that it was a success. I'm so proud of myself for actually coming up with somebody. <laughs> and she literally had like a whole group of girls. And some of them were from my city, which is crazy. So yeah, you never know who you might meet when you say hi to somebody. So yeah, good night. I'm going to take my makeup off, go to bed. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Like, to see what else this trip has in store. I'm so excited. Good night. a.m. and I'm off to breakfast this is my outfit you can see it properly this is the fit nothing crazy but I'm down for breakfast so yeah let's get into it <laughs> This is got this really cute spot here by the pool. How cute! 
It's got these two sand beds, a little mini pool section, and then this is the main pool. So yeah, it's super, super freaking cute. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day, day two of Crete, and I'm looking right now. So good, so good. So I just had breakfast, and I managed to secure this super cute section by the pool. I'm obsessed. I've got to hold it to myself, literally. It's also got this whole seating area. How gorgeous! This is fire. And it's actually a hot day today, so thank God. Um, clear sky, very nice and neat. It's only 11 and it's so warm already, so yeah. I've got a massage in about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna chill here for a bit and then go to my massage, come back here as well, get ready, get some pics, you know the vibe. But yeah, I'm also gonna jam before I also just need to journal before I go to massage, so that'll be nice. I'm just gonna put my airpods in, just get some time with God, and yeah. Beautiful day, beautiful time to be alive. was almost unbearable. She was like, I have a lot of knots. This babe nearly broke my back. But it was, in the end, it was good. I think I needed it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back upstairs, head to the pool, and just get a coffee, relax. Oh, by the way, this was my look. Ooh. Okay. This was my little outfit, if you didn't see it properly earlier. Super simple, super cute, flowy, yeah. Right, girls, so I just got an iced coffee. It's actually really nice, caramel iced coffee. And I'm just literally chilling by the pool. And when I tell you that massage nearly killed me, I'm not joking. The lady, the pressure was so bad. I literally nearly screamed in agony. Like, I said, babe, I'm not a big body man, like, I have a small babe's body. But, um, she was like, no, pressure is good. I said, babe, not that much pressure. Literally, I, I, at one point, I was scared to raise my arm, because I was like, is my arm broken? I'm not even exaggerating. But, um, I do feel a lot better. I do feel a lot better. Probably one of the most painful massages I've ever had, and I've never actually had a painful massage. But, yeah, <laughs> when in grief, I guess. Yeah, that traumatized me. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back in my room now. I was just doing some work. Um, I was just doing a bit of work. I'm working with Bondi Sands. Hold on, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm working with Bondi Sands and Lancaster SPF, which is really convenient because um, they asked me to try out their products just as I was going on holiday. So convenient. But yeah, so got some work. It literally took me like, I thought it wouldn't take me long, but it literally took me like two hours because basically I had to wait for like, it was super cloudy. So like my video was coming out kind of dark, but I finally, the sun finally came out for me. And honestly, both SPFs are actually incredible. I used the Lancaster SPF mostly on this holiday. And then the Bondi Sands, I all, like, I've been using for a while as well. So I can definitely vouch for both. No white cast or anything. Um, this bit's not sponsored, but if you're looking for SPF. The Bondi Sands is actually a drugstore, really affordable. Anyway, I wanna get ready now. 
because I want to head out. Work is done. Now mama's out to play, okay? I think I want to go to this beach club nearby. And yeah, I'm so excited. I've got my work out of the way. Well, I still need to do a little bit more for Bondi Sands, but I basically just put makeup on and then finish off with the spray. But yeah, I'm excited. Let's get ready. Oh, the girls I met last night as well asked me if um, I wanted to join them because they're going out later this evening. So that's cute. Um, it was definitely worth um, putting myself out there because they invited me out. How sweet. But yeah. I'm basically gonna put makeup on and it should last like pretty much the whole rest of the day. But yeah, let's head out, Bestie. This is the look. Um, my skirt is, well, my sarong, I, I basically DIY, yeah, right. it's from ASOS. And this is the ASOS as well. The face is definitely given. Oh, it's a holiday beat. Oh my gosh, yeah. Why does everything just look better in the sun? The melanin is melanin. -ing. I think you can see a little bit better here. Don't watch my shoes because everywhere is quite rocky. Um, I'm walking to the next location, so I don't want to slip. Um, but yeah, it's holiday vibes, right? I love the sarong. This DIY sarong. It's, it's, it was a dress from ASOS, but I just kind of made it a vibe. The way they dupes. Yeah. Let's go, Bestie. Um, it was such a lovely restaurant. It was literally on the water, um, like on a cliff, and it was really, really cute. Um, the only thing I didn't like were the cats. Like, why are cats in my business when I'm trying to eat? That was the only thing I wasn't really enjoying, but it was really cute, really nice vibe. Um, the sun, the sun was setting as well, which was nice. But um, it wasn't like super, super bright today, so it wasn't like a full-on sunset, but you could see like the vibes, it was, it was super cute. And the music was really nice, and the waves, like just listening to the waves. Oh, also, AirPods have been my best friend on this trip. If you guys are planning to go on a solo holiday, um, make sure you have AirPods or some kind of head earphones. Because number one, people won't bother you, like, because you're alone, sometimes people just feel like they can come up to you and speak to you and like, offer you things to buy so having airpods has been a game changer because it's like sorry too busy can't you can't you but um that's been good and also it's just been nice to have like familiarity in my ear like well whether it's playing music that i already know or like watching something oh god very rude of me i'm so sorry i'm just why am i so tired but yeah um so yeah it's been super cute like it's been it's been eye-opening and it's been very different to what i thought it would be but it's been nice like i'm glad i've done it um i still obviously have the whole of tomorrow but i'm just trying i'm just reflecting and i'm just thinking i'm so glad i've done it um and my only thing is i wish that i had spoken to more people um i wish i had the courage to speak to more people because there were some people that i feel like i could have really clicked with like whether it's people that like dress similar to me or like i saw people creating content i could have just been like oh my god hey do you know what i mean but then not the nerves but like i just don't want to bother people um but yeah that's the only thing i wish i did and i still have tomorrow so that is my challenge just like my challenge last night was to go and speak to somebody my challenge tomorrow is to speak to someone else someone new but you yeah, it's nine o'clock i'm definitely trying to make it out um the girls said to me around 10 o'clock so i'm gonna keep myself busy or something um i'm gonna put all my songs that i've been putting on repeat on a playlist so i can remember this trip 
um because i've been like rinsing songs over and over again so i feel like when i listen to that, those songs i will remember this trip basically also my fragrance for this trip has been oh my god guys am i making it out comment below if you think i'm making it out because i really i'm getting to that point i'm like do i just take my makeup off and climb into that bed it looks so warm and so cozy um but i'm really gonna try because obviously oh here it is here's the fragrance my fragrance has been the kayali pistachio so every time i smell this i feel like i'm gonna remember crete ah so lovely um but yeah hopefully i make it out i, I really want to make it out i really want to make it out i feel like it'll be kind of rude not not rude but because obviously they're there with the whole group do you know what i mean i just feel like i don't want to i don't want to um drop out and anyway the place that we're going is literally two minute walk from here so if worse comes to worse i can literally just walk home do you know what i mean do you know what i mean like don't be a grandma all your life but the thing is it closes at 3 a.m that's the thing i'm like i'm definitely not making it out to that late the latest i'll probably be out till is like half past 12 <laughs> at a push we'll see what else is it given i really like my outfit today i didn't get a cute pic though because i'm so by myself that's the only thing like having a vision of like oh my gosh this location would look so nice in a picture and not having anyone take it of you which is kind of sad but i guess it's good to like live in the moment just like enjoy things as they are and not have to take a photo of yourself all the time do you know what i mean <laughs> she tells herself but yeah i'm just so glad i got most of my work done i've sent it for approval and let's see hopefully they will approve everything um and then that will be that will mean that tomorrow i can just literally do whatever i want do the content that i want and just enjoy myself really oh i'll show you guys i ended up making my skirt into a dress so this is how the, this is how the dress actually is um i just pull it down and make it into a sarong basically but it's actually a dress that makes sense i really like this dress i wish that i wish they did more colors but yeah i'll let you guys know if there's anything else to update you hopefully there is otherwise i'm gonna be in bed and i'll update you from my bed okay okay girls i have decided to play music so that i don't fall asleep <laughs> because listen if i sit if i sit in that bed for five more minutes i'm gonna be out for the count day three um last night we had a time last night let me tell you like the dj i'm sorry every like he just he understood the assignment and i thought like they were playing like low-key and this music but as soon as like we walked in the dj said oh <laughs> bet got you and he started playing the latest bangers we were like what are the odds of uh, we were like oh what are the chances of us hearing i'm up here on the tonight we were like joking because we thought there was actually absolutely no chance and this guy started playing piano piano it was such a fun night there was afro beat there was um i'm a piano there was just everything that you wanted to hear we heard um so yeah it was super super fun um we got in kind of late so i'm kind of tired but um yeah i just put some sunscreen on i'm about to head downstairs it's such a stunning beautiful day and yeah i'm back to head downstairs i just woke up showered got myself together and i started packing as well which is i hate one thing about me is i hate packing on the last day like i hate packing the day i'm supposed to leave so i just started right now i'm pretty much like 75 percent there i'll pack the rest tonight but yeah it's gonna be so hard to leave but yeah i'm gonna find the girls now and um they were so much fun as well we all dancing and it was just a great time like i'm so glad i went um 
I'm so glad I didn't take my makeup off and just slept because that would have been such an L missing out on that. Like it was so much fun, it was so much fun. Yeah, I'm gonna find some food now, find the girlies and yeah, it should be a cute little day. Let me show you outside first of all. Look how beautiful. Such a beautiful day. Such a gorgeous day. Blue skies. Oh, I love this for me. This is my outfit for today. Just like a little cheeky surround. Finishing off of these glasses. They just make everything look so much more like chic. But yeah let's head downstairs and see what the vibe is giving so we've just been like playing tag in the pool, outdoor pool and it was super cute i wanted to film it but so many people are around so i'm gonna film inside the indoor pool just to give you the vibes um the water was freezing but once you get in it's like really nice so yeah so this is the indoor pool see how it's super quiet because everyone's outside on the outdoor pool but yeah, let's get some, let's get our swim on or whatever. Earlier, like earlier in the trip. <sighs> but yeah, it's so nice. One more time for the pool because she is the moment. So gorgeous. So I just got back to my room um, and I got a bit of lunch. I just got a gyros because when in Greece you have to have a gyros. Um, it's basically like a wrap with chips and meat inside. I got a chicken one. Chicken, chips, and like so Greek sauces. So I'm just taking a little break. Um, I'm gonna watch a video and then probably get ready because I wanna actually get a picture outside. Um, I'm gonna try and build my, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and do it. I'm gonna get ready, eat this, and just kind of relax i also got some pineapple juice and just chilled remember when i said that i had to send in some work for approval it's been approved they said they love the content so you'll be seeing it on the ground real soon um yeah lancaster they lancaster spf they said they absolutely love the content so i'm very very happy about that celebrate can you imagine if they said um they you have to reshoot when i spent the whole day filming that yesterday but yeah, really happy. So this is what it kind of looks like. The gear off. Oh, oh. This is what it kind of looks like. It smells so good as well. I feel like it tastes better than it looks. But yeah. God bless this video. Mmm. The one in Mykonos, I feel like it's a bit better. But it's hitting the spot. And it's only like four euro. So, so I just had another shower. And now I'm gonna get ready for this evening. So this is my last time getting ready because I'm literally leaving in the morning. That is kind of sad. And I really just started to get to know um, all the girls that I met. Um, so it's kind of sad leaving. It's been a short and sweet trip, so. Um, and for especially for a solo trip, I actually really enjoyed myself. I really, really enjoyed myself. I wish I had put myself out there sooner, to be honest. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, yeah, I'm not doing too, too much makeup. Because I feel like when you're on holiday, you don't really need a lot of cake, to be honest. Like, 
even oh my gosh this light doesn't mean dirty every single time <laughs> this literally looks yellow but i promise you guys it looks good in real life like uh, we're on holiday you don't really need that much makeup um to look put together i can literally put concealer and lip gloss and I look like I'm doing something with my life, you know. Lovely, lovely, lovely trip. My cramps are kicking in though, which is annoying. I can feel them in my hips. I mean, I can feel them. Oh, I can literally feel them on my lower back. But it's fine. We're not going to let no Miss Flow slow us down, okay? I have taken some um, ibuprofen, but I feel like I need to go get some more. I'm going to get some more ibuprofen because I cannot be dealing with this on the flight tomorrow. Absolutely not. Hopefully there's a pharmacy close by. But it will pass, it will pass, it will pass. So anyway, let me get ready. Bit when I bore you with my same makeup routine. I literally have a routine and I stick beside her. Um, when you start experimenting, that's when everything starts going sideways. So I really don't, don't experiment much. I'm gonna get ready and I'll get I'll be back to you in about 15 minutes. I'm ready. Can't lie, I did take a nap. <laughs> I took like a 30 minute nap because all of a sudden I got ready and I was just like I'm drained. So I literally jumped into bed. Um I put in a podcast just to like chill out, but then I woke up 30 minutes later and here we are. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna get this picture. Look at this look, I mean look at this fit. This um, skirt is black owned um, from a store called Vinsol. So stunning and it goes all the way to the floor and they have different colors as well. Um, I, I'm obsessed with this, like, oh, so cute. Guys, I'm back from <laughs> taking a picture of myself. It was nerve wracking, let me tell you. Do you know that, um, you know that sounds like, why is everyone acting weird towards me on TikTok? That's how I felt because people were looking at me like I had six legs and six arms. I don't understand. Like it's a tripod, it's not that deep. But anyway, nobody nobody bothered me. People just were staring. But it is what it is. I got the pick. Oh my gosh, the comment is so fire. And it was so worth it. So this is your sign. If you um <laughs> if you want to do something, just don't let anyone stop you because the outcome will be great. The pictures are chef's kiss. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the shop, get some, uh, get myself some drinks, snacks, water, and then I'm gonna meet up with the girls later on. But yeah, let's go to the shop. I was just so happy that I got that out of the way. I wish I did it sooner. Uh, every this is this is like the common theme um, on this trip. Like I just wish that I bit the bullet sooner. I could have got some fire pictures yesterday. But anyway, I did get. I was working, so I did still obviously get a lot of content. And sometimes it's not everyday content. Sometimes just like. Be in the moment but yeah i'm really really pleased um let's go to the shop guys i can't help myself i found another location so i'm gonna take some content here let me take you guys along this time because at least it's inside so it's a bit less nerve-wracking let's shoot this outfit So it's cute, but I feel like yeah, it's not really focusing, but the light, my outfit doesn't really go with the background, basically. So I'm gonna come back here for, with another outfit, like a more nighttime outfit. I think it will, it will look so cute. Alrighty guys, it's the last night tonight. So we're gonna go out with a bang. So this is my outfit. My dress is from Cuckoo, which I absolutely love. This is the vibe. I'm going to get a picture afterwards anyway, when, when I come back, because I don't want to miss the sunset. So, yeah. Um, we are off to Buddha Bar in Crete. Um, I've been to Buddha... Ooh, my lips. Kind of looking ashy. Um, 
I've been to Buddha Bar in where did I go? Oh yeah, I went to Buddha Bar in Mykonos and we absolutely love that one. So I'm gonna check out the Crete one. Hopefully it gives what it needs to. And yeah, let's head out, baby. I'm just gonna get a taxi from outside because I don't think they have Ubers in this city. So yeah. Let's go. Guys, I just arrived and look at the most incredible sunset. No, Buddha Bar know how to show how to do a good show of the sunset, baby. Look at this. Wow. Thank you. Oh, I have a club car. Thank you so much. Thank you. Where are we going? Buddha bar, please. stayed here because I think there's a hotel right there and it's absolutely insane like look at the freaking views are you kidding and it's literally golden hour and it's so beautiful right now if I had one more day I would definitely come back here dinner at Buddha Bar. Buddha Bar was actually so so good. The food, I feel like the food at Buddha Bar never, dis never disappoints whatever city that you're in. I had the um, barbecue ribs, barbecue fried ribs apparently, and I don't know but it was so good. And then I had some sushi rolls and I had the noodles, the Buddha Bar noodles which was so good as well. Oh my gosh food was just incredible to be honest and I think that's probably my favorite place that I've been to in Crete so far I wish I actually went earlier so I could have spent the whole day there if I come back here I'll definitely probably stay at that hotel it was just ship's kiss the service as well oh my gosh the girl was the lady that was serving me was so lovely so that was really nice as well it was just a, like amazing amazing way to end my trip um, uh, and I was looking out on the water and I was just like so grateful to be here and be able to like make these memories um, yeah it was an amazing t amazing 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 time um, I did want to touch on the hotel the resort um, if I'd recommend it or, or not um, the aesthetics absolutely stunning the service is really really good but um, the only thing is um, sometimes in the evenings if you if you want to like hang out by the pool um, maybe like in a group it's kind of techy because they tell you to like keep the to keep the noise down which I kind of get obviously but my only confusion was that we were playing music like so there's like a roof and um, there's like a pool bar and they were playing music from there so me and the girls that I met were playing like games and stuff outside and someone came and said oh there's a noise complaint but like these times there's like music banging in the speakers so I was so confused but other than that I would highly recommend um also, in terms of a solo trip, this location was absolutely amazing. I feel like the people, um, the locals were so friendly, so lovely. I love Greek people in general, but honestly, if you wanted to come on a solo trip here, I highly recommend. I felt very, very safe. Like I did not, not one second did I feel like <gasps> shook. Like I was, that was just all in my head. But in terms of like reality, like everyone was so lovely respectful kind generous like oh, i had a blast i had a blast and i'm so happy that i did it but yes this is the end of the night the end of the trip and i'm just very very grateful if you guys watched all the way to the end then make sure to leave 
Hmm, what emoji are we giving? Oh, okay. Make sure to leave this grease flag emoji. So I know that you watched all the way to the end and that you're a real one. Let me know if you'd ever do a solo trip and if you would, then where would you want to go? Because I feel like I could do this again. Um, amazing scenes. Trip was a success. Thank God for everything each and every time. I'm just so grateful. I can't wait to see my husband though. I can't wait. What's that TikTok? It's like, ah. I'm going to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. That's what, like, I actually missed him. And today, like, um, he's away. He's abroad as well. And today they were on a boat so that he couldn't really, um, we didn't really speak today. So I was like, I miss him so much, you know. But um, that's all I have to report. If I think of anything else, I'll probably let you guys know at the airport tomorrow. But yeah, praise God. Praise God. This was such a beautiful trip. I felt like I learned a lot. I learned that I can enjoy my own company. I learned that I'm quite good at making new friends. Um, I learned that the world is so big and so beautiful. Like you can't allow people not being available to like do things, certain things with you to stop you from seeing certain things. Um, and I learned to just give places and people a chance because I had a blast. I had such a blast and I met some lovely girls and had great food, great atmosphere, great vibes. I'm just so, so grateful for this trip, honestly. But yeah, good night guys. Um, love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Night. Mwah!